Hello friends, welcome to Spectrum Academy. Today we are going to discuss one of the very important topic for engineering semester 2 mathematics and this particular question is often asked in first question for 3 marks. So problems are very simple and uh, you can easily score 3 marks if you understand this particular simple concept. So let us consider a function y equals to f of x. Now. What I'm saying is this particular function is equally spaced function with a step length h. Now what is meaning of equally spaced function with step length h? It means x will increase in the step size of h. Suppose x value is a, then the next value of x will be a plus h and the next value will be a plus 2h and so on. So such kind of function we can call it as an equally spaced function with step length h. Next, let's understand what is this symbol means. The symbol is called as delta and it is called as Newton's difference operator. When this particular symbol delta is applied on a function f of x, what it does is <coughs> it gives us the difference of the function's next value at x plus h with the current value. So delta fx is f of x plus h minus f of x. f of x plus h is the next value and f of x is the current value. Let's understand this operator E. E is called as shift operator. When this is operated on a function fx, it simply shifts the function to the next value. Now there is an interesting relation between delta and E which we shall see next. So it's a very simple question. Prove that E equals to 1 plus delta and this question is asked for 3 marks in question number 1. Now how we do it? Very simple. We know delta fx. What it is? It is f of x plus h minus f of x. And remember what was E of fx? e of fx was f of x plus h. So this f of x plus h here is replaced by e of fx. So this is what I get. Now fx is common. We get e minus 1 in the bracket. This side we have delta fx. Dividing both sides by delta, sorry, dividing both sides by fx we get delta equals to e minus 1 and that is E is equals to 1 plus delta. So very simple problem and very, you know, many times it has been asked in exam for 3 marks. I will see more problems. Welcome back. Now look at the next, next question and that is prove that e, raised to, e equals to e raised to hd. Again very simple question asked for 3 marks in the exams. <coughs> Now, what is v? What is e? E is nothing but e of fx is nothing but f of x plus h. Now we can expand f of x plus h using Taylor series. So what I'm going to get is f of x plus h into derivative of fx, which is d of fx, plus h square by 2 factorial into second derivative of fx plus h cubed by 3 factorial into third derivative of fx and this goes on. What I can do is I can take fx common from each of these terms. So I get 1 plus h into d h square by 2 factorial into d square h cubed by 3 factorial into d cube so on and it is operating on fx. Now if you look at this it is like 1 plus x plus x square x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial and so on where x is nothing but hd this is like 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial x cube by 3 factorial and which is nothing but the expansion of function e raised to x. So this particular thing is expansion of e raised to hd on fx. 
Now we can divide throughout by fx and what we get equals to e raised to hd. That is the proof.